This is another video from acmetutor.com and in this video I will be discussing Langsos resampling. Langsos resampling is often used on images when you have uh, artifacts and you have pixelated images. It can be used on other digital signals too and it's a way of interpolating the image so you can get rid of some of these artifacts and pixelations. So uh, let's get to Langsos resampling and before I can describe Langshaw's resampling, I actually need to discuss these two functions here. Uh, the sync of x, which is defined to be the sine of x over x. And that's the unnormalized form of sync of x. And as you can see, the denominator x when x is 0 doesn't exist, but the limit is 1. So we'll define x 0 to be 1. And the normalized form of sync of x uh, simply multiplies the x inside by a pi and also the denominator by pi. Uh, this is normalized because when you take the integral over the whole space, you will get a 1. So what does the function kind of look like? So the function looks like these lobes, which are a uh, big lobe in the center and then slowly decreasing in x because you're dividing by a factor of x. And so, typically, you cannot use the sync uh, of x function directly because it's an infinite function, and you have to window it. So what do we mean by you have to window it? The way to window this uh, is to take the sync of x over a when x is between negative a and uh, a. And it's 1 on x equals 0 as before and 0 otherwise. So what that's going to do is it's going to give you this little window here. Uh, and A will determine how many lobes you will actually get within this window. So let's go ahead and then use this uh, sync window that we just defined. And what the Langshaw's filter then is, is uh, applying the sync window to the sync function. So you get sync of x, sync of x over a, when x is between negative a and a, and not 0, 1 if x is 0, and 0 otherwise. So this is called the Langshaw's filter. So one of the nice properties of this Langshaw's filter kernel is that you can multiply, if you have a two-dimensional uh, Langshaw's kernel, uh, in X and Y, which is going to be the case with two-dimensional images, for example, you can take L of X times L of Y. And so now let's talk about the how you will actually do the interpolation on your image. And so the one-dimensional interpolation you're going to do, so I is a function of on uh, integer values, so pixel 1, pixel 2, pixel 3, so on. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the sum uh, from the floor of x0 minus a plus 1 to the floor of x0 plus a of, and you're going to convolute the Langshaw's filter with your um, integer values. So for example, when you have a equal 2, so this a, a is the size of the filter, as I said, and you're going to basically have an x0, you're going to take the floor, go to the lowest integer there, subtract 2 and add 1, and on this side add 2. So this is in between somewhere, and so your n will start here and your n will end here. Similarly, when you have the two-dimensional interpolation, it's very similar. You have your integer function uh, instead of in just x now, you have x0 and y0. And as we talked about this nice property where you can just multiply. So you can take the sum over i and j, same as the uh, one-dimensional example of your integer function and the convolution against both the Langshaw's filter in the x direction and in the y direction. And that's it for how you do the Langshaw's resampling. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, check out there's some examples on the web of images that have used Langshaw sam sampling to uh, improve the quality of images and remove pixelation from images. 
Uh, thanks again, and uh, this video is from acmetutor.com.